This is a 3D printed model of a manual transmission. While it may look like there's a lot going on, it's actually incredibly simple and ingenious. It's one of my favorite mechanical models and I'll show you why. After this video, you should be able to understand the genius design behind a manual transmission. This specific model of a manual transmission has three speeds and a reverse. As the speed of the car increases, we have to shift gears to keep the RPM at a reasonable level. Essentially, the engine will be spinning around the same speed the entire time, but we shift gears to go faster and faster. Here's first gear, second gear, and third gear, and you can even shift into reverse. So how exactly does this work? So here we have the drive shaft, and the only things connected to it are these two gears and this red piece. If I turn the engine on and put my fingers in the gears, you'll notice they don't stop spinning. This is because they're directly connected to the drive shaft. These other gears can freely spin. The second axle shaft is almost the opposite of the first. These two gears are directly connected to the output shaft. So what we need to do is basically find a way to connect the input shaft to the output shaft. And we're going to do this by using these red pieces. You can control the position of these red pieces with the shifter. If we move the red piece forward, it'll connect to the output shaft with this big gear. And this is basically first gear. The power goes through the drive shaft from the small gear to the big gear and then to the output. If we draw it as a diagram, we have the drive shaft connected to this small gear, which is meshed with this big gear, which is connected to the output shaft. All the other gears are literally doing nothing and they're not connected to the output. Only this big gear is connected to the output. So first gear connects this small gear with this large gear. And whenever you have a small gear and a large gear meshed together, it results in a gear reduction. For second gear, the red piece will slide back to the slightly smaller gear. This gear pair is not quite as extreme as first gear, so it'll result in a slightly faster speed. So when we switch to second gear, all we're doing is switching from this more extreme gear ratio to a slightly less extreme gear ratio. So now we have the drive shaft connected to a medium sized gear, which is connected to the large gear, which is connected to the output shaft. Now check out what happens when we switch into third gear. We're connecting this big gear with this small gear. So this time we have the drive shaft connected to a big gear, which is connected to a small gear, which is connected to the output shaft. And whenever we have a big gear to a small gear, it results in a speed increase. If we move the shifter back, it puts it into reverse. We're essentially adding another spur gear to the gear chain. So notice how when we add another gear, the output rotation changes direction. For reverse, we have the drive shaft connected to a small gear, connected to another small gear, connected to a large gear, connected to the output shaft. And with that, here's the basic theory for how a manual transmission works. So for first gear, all we're doing is connecting the first gear pair. For second gear, we're connecting the second gear pair. For third gear, we move the shifter over and we connect the third gear pair. And to put it in reverse, we connect these three gears in the back. Here's a slow-mo of the drive shaft connecting to the third gear pair. In real life, there's also a synchronizer, which helps synchronize the drive shaft to the gear pair. That way the gears are easily able to smoothly mesh together. So essentially, a manual transmission is a really clever way of switching between different gear pairs.